hello everyone and welcome back to my channel messages from venus this is a client reading this is dial up your guides and this reading is basically a reading where you can ask any questions it can be used as a general reading but i will tap more into um, communication with your spirit guides um and again my dear friends my mom thank you so very much for being patient with me i i mean you love me very much because you're not even nagging nobody's sending me messages i don't understand you guys love me very very much but um I tapped into the spirit animals that you have around you um, and of course as you know I do everything confidential so you shouldn't be commenting like on your under your own readings guys so that people don't know that it's about you only because um, some people on the internet are crazy like I don't mind it I don't care you guys can comment you get you guys can say whatever you want it's your reading you've paid for it I just feel like people are just nuts people are crazy um and they'll start like going to see if they can find you on the internet like I'm just very traumatized about all of that so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with your reading um I read the message that you um left me for this reading and I'm gonna just go ahead and get started with um kind of like I'm gonna just lay out the cards and I'm gonna see what they say I'm not uh, I'm gonna focus on the questions but I'm not gonna focus on each question individually um, and of course you will get the answer in regards to how you can open up um, spiritually in the other reading that I just did for you as well there's somebody that came up that just seems like a like somebody that would be a lover and I really do feel like you would achieve um, Physical contact with this person, um, just, uh, so I'm not vulgar. Physical contact with this person at least two or three times. Um, but let's see what this reading says, okay? So let me just get started with this reading, and then we can move ahead and move forward. Okay, so these cards are pretty kind of like straightforward. However, I'm going to turn them over so that you can see. So you have the breath, you have improve, and you have um, momento mori. Um, and then I'll get to the next three cards. So we know what happens. We know the issue. We know the underlying stress. Excuse me. Now, what I'm seeing with these cards is that when you're coming within a relationship or you are about to be in a relationship and you feel yourself not being able to speak or having your throat chakra blocked, um, what you should start doing is just going up and approaching just random people, right? Um, so that you're able to open up your your throat chakra with someone in the physical form because you're you're very talkative on the internet you're very um, uh, opinionated on the internet you're always on the internet always conversating etc with someone on the internet or responding to your comments on the internet that means you're very active on the internet however take a step forward not with the person that you want to take a, take a step forward with just yet um, but start practicing having conversations and communications with people in the physical one-on-one -on -one communication just with any random person so that you're able to open up your, your throat chakra so that when it comes time for you to breathe new life, new form of physical life, new form of frequency in your life, um, you're not in, uh, you're not recreating the scenario that happened to you years ago um, when that perfect moment comes you would like to cherish that perfect moment you would like to open up the the um, lines of communication so that moment isn't broken 
because what I see that might happen if you don't do that is that you might have a fantastic time. You might have a conversation with this person. You might have a physical contact with this person. And then the next thing you know, he or she will feel some sort of disconnect. So that just ruins the bliss of everything. And they might not want to talk to you again. They might not want to communicate with you again because of the situation um, of you not being able to speak. And so what, what would happen is that they will start doubting their performance or doubting your relationship or doubting your communication with this person. And that's really not what you would like um, to, to come about the situation or as a result of the situation. Next, you have feel then you have fire, then you have love. And these cards are just showing me that when you have a conversation with somebody, you're not really feeling the conversation with anyone, not just with the person that you're interested in, um, but you're not really feeling the conversation. Make sure that you, or at least I suggest with what with with is saying with these cards, that you are actually feeling conversation with people. So you feel the frequency from one person to the next, from you to that person and vice versa. So that once that feeling or that invisible feeling of frequency touches you, the physical aspect of touch, of, of, um, of physical contact with someone whether it's just a handshake it might be something as simple as a handshake or it might be you having physical sexual contact with someone else um you you need to know the frequency of that and i feel like because of what happens to you before and you not having a relationship with with someone before um is that you don't know what that frequency feels like. So you don't know how to act upon it um, without it being some sort of um, harmful, emotional um, situation or distressing situation towards you. Also, um, besides physically um, getting to know yourself or playing with yourself, etc., cetera, um, so, not, so that I don't sound vulgar, you should... Um, try to practice loving the skin that you're in as well and you're gonna be like well well how do I do that fragrances fragrant fragrances like oils perfumes body sprays lotions etc put you in a state of being and where you want to touch yourself if the fragrance that you're constantly wearing doesn't make you want to love yourself or touch yourself or be in tune physically with yourself change the free the fragrance change the oils that you're using change the lotions that you're using so that once it comes a time so that when you're comfortable with your own scent that you can be comfortable with someone else's scent also i feel like in an, in like two weeks or so you will have open communication with this person to the point where it will be a little bit more in depth than what you've already have if any and that will spark the fire you don't want to let that fire go but first you have to work on yourself um, it is, there's nothing that's going to come out of it. If you try to push yourself onto this person or this situation without cleaning yourself first. I also feel like with these cards, this, um, this is called improve and fire is that, um, you need to take, a, you need to take back your power. You need to take back back your power if that person that once harmed you, that once um, was abusive and took away that power away from you, especially from your sacral chakra, um, you need to take it back. And the, a way to take it back is, I know you've done cleansings. I know that, that like I'm a thousand percent sure that you've been doing cleansings all your life. However, that's in the spiritual realm, okay? If, if you don't take power your power back in all aspects so mind body and soul so um the mind would be the subconscious the soul will also be some sort of um subconscious but it is the essence of who you are the mind is is literally just your mind and your body is the physical aspect of of what it is so your thought um your spirits and your physical aspect if you don't cure all three of them not at the same time but at least um uh 
during the same time, you won't be able to cure yourself because what happens is that you're going to have like situations where the same issue will arise in different areas of your life. It may be not physical, but emotional, mental, etc. Um, start with the physical. Because once you start with the physical, since I know you already have done baths and spiritual baths and, and communication with spirit and always having that connection with spirit, now move forward with the physical and try to heal that about yourself. And then once you start healing your physical, trust me, your mind, because I went through the same situation, your mind will start um, making itself comfortable with the idea of someone being next to you, the idea of someone comforting you other than yourself. The oracle that you have is the cheetah, and this just tells me that you should take action, that you should be the first person to take action, but I don't recommend that you take action, that you, you communicate with this person, that you um, even say hello with the person that you would like um, physical uh, feelings with or interactions with until you can clear yourself in all three aspects of your life. Now... The card that I have for like messages of love um, and tuning yourself with the frequency of love is sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. However, yes, honor your relationship while it's truly sacred, but you need to honor your relationship within yourself first. And then you can honor someone else and then you take action. So remember, mind, body, and soul, and then take action. Then comes the relationship and then comes the aspect of love. But you have to you you have to take action to cure all aspects of yourself. You already took the initiative to think, you know what? This is a perfect time for me to get a reading. I need to, to, to fix this area of my life. You've already taken the initiative to, to do baths, herbal spells, etc. I'm sure you have now. It's all about the physical aspect of yourself. Also, I'm always recommending this because this is something that I used for myself. Uni eggs, uni eggs, uni eggs, uni eggs, and a thousand times uni eggs. It's going to be uncomfortable. It'll hurt in the beginning um, when you first insert the uni egg, but you should always light a white candle. Um, let it sit there for at least three days cleanse the uni egg insert the uni egg you can get a uni egg tiger's eye to be exact is the one that i recommend always but i also feel like for you it should be both tiger's eye and clear quartz um so that it can heal you um in the physical and also in the spiritual realm all at the same time so your aura and your physical realm um at the same time and i can like just because it came out in your other reading. I'm telling you, this guy and you are going to have a fantastic time together. And it's it may not last forever, but this person is going to be your gateway. It's going to be um, the signification or the representation of opening doors for you. And opening gateways for you that have been closed for way too long, my dear. They've been closed for way too long. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope this helped. Um... If not, you know exactly where to reach me. Again, I'm very, very sorry for the delay. I did make a video explaining myself. I don't want to take too much time off of your video explaining myself. Um, but I will be in contact with you. I love you so much. Thank you for your patience. Please continue to water your life. And for those of you that are watching, you should always continue to water your life. And if you need anything from me, all the information is in the description box. Bye, guys.